Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. The usual, if you've already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the notification bell. And if you tap on likes, we appreciate that too. Now in our last video, we were out here at Six Cycles in Mentone, California with Al. And Al is here and we showed his bike that he was building for the Born Free Show. Now we're on Wednesday now and the Born Free Show starts Saturday. Yep. And Al's getting ready to go feverishly, so <laughs> we're just gonna take a few minutes of his time. But basically we promised we would show the bike when it was done. And I really am sorry that not everyone in the world can go to the Born Free Show. So we're gonna give you a preview of this bike as it is now, all finished up and ready to go. Almost except finished. For almost, yeah. <laughs> very <we're>, close. <laughs> very close. Close, Al, close enough, close enough. We made him pull it off the lift and bring it out here, yeah, okay? happy to do it. Happy but to here it is. This is Al's 46 knucklehead. And as we showed in the last video, the single down tube frame, the beautiful molding on the tank and rear fender, the brackets that hold the oil tank. I mean, on and on and on, this thing is detailed with, to within an inch, inch of its life. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff to show here. And Mike's getting all that into the video, but the bike is here. Did you get a good long shot at it, Mike, so you can see the whole, the whole machine in its radiant glory? This thing is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yes. I did start it and ride it uh, two days ago. Ran Yay. into a, a couple initial small problems, but uh, we get, since then we've got them worked out. And I'm just had to make a few adjustments, putting back together. You might notice the push rod tube covers are are all loose, so uh, that's what I was working on well, right when you guys showed behind up. Behind that big L series, yeah. uh, SNS <laughs> carburetor is not an easy task. This is true. This is true. So a couple couple adjustments, and then uh, we should be good to go. And uh, hopefully I can wipe it down, keep it clean. But uh, uh, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with how it came out. Well, it's quite a, quite a contender for the best chopper. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I, I, I'm thoroughly impressed. Thoroughly impressed. And I like the way you've got your, you've got your primary covers on now. Yeah. And boy, they fit nice. They really look good. Thanks, man. Came All out of that good. just looks excellent. I did change the clutch springs when, since you guys were here last time. These ones are a little softer. Plus, I love these orange ones. I had them in the package, and I was like, oh, man, just I used them kind of kind of fit the, the bike, really, with that color. So Well, they work, too. They're, yeah, the clutch, the, the Rodan clutch is a little stiff unless you have everything just right. And one of the things I don't have right that I'm aware of is the uh, lever being an earlier level lever. It's technically a brake lever, and I think maybe the... Um, oh, you're getting the, the geometry right. The geometry is a lot. You're supposed to use, like, a 68 and later lever, which I may switch to later, but... These levers were kind of special to me. I don't know if I pointed out in the last video, but the first one I found was stamped at the swap meet, the words Burdue yes. in the lever. If you want to get, up, you want to get a little shot of these levers. So I found a match and I stamped in uh, forever since you know I've pretty much lived here my whole life uh, here in San Bernardino County. Um, and uh, I just thought that was kind of You know, cool, I grew you know? up in San Bernardino too, so. Yeah, I, I know, I know. That's why we get along so good. Yeah, that's it, boy. <laughs> I mean. A little, little bit different crowd. Yeah, I can imagine <laughs> different times. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It was, um, it was a time. You know, a lot of guys build uh, show bikes and they always, you know, make a show card. So this was my. Uh, I was listening, listening to Slayer pretty much the whole build. So. Well, I, you designed that. Well, it's and then pretty Kyle much. Kyle did it. Yeah, right? the painter came over the other day. Kyle, he did some touch-ups and he pinstriped the tires for me. And I was like, hey, can you paint my show card? I'm going to name it after my favorite Slayer album. This is some of the artwork, and it's got a little bit of information on there. So I think it came out okay. I love it. I love it. I love it all. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. It was, it was pretty... Uh, it was and pretty... That, that wheel, we hardly even talked about that yeah. wheel last time. That wheel is a... That wheel in and of itself is a piece of artwork. Yeah, it was kind of a mission. You know, 
it's machined for mechanical brake. The day weren't obviously made for right, that. Right, right. You know, so that was quite, but it's a quite 15 a inch 12 spoke. That's an American, right? Yep, yes, sir. And uh, you 12 know, 12 spoke American. My polisher just rolled his eyes when I came walking in with that thing. So. I can't even imagine. <laughs> he goes, "You know what that's going to cost, right?" I said, "Don't even tell me till it's over." Yeah. But uh, yeah, he polished it really, really nice. And, and now we can see a good shot of the tail light here. Yep, yeah, real nice and shiny. We polished that too. Yep. That's custom made. Oh yeah. As well. No, it's it's the chain guard's on. The chain guard wasn't on last time. It's also a piece of aluminum, kind of in the same vein as the sissy bar. Uh, oh yeah. Kind of match it. And oh yeah. I don't know what else wasn't on. The petcock, I had a repop one on, which leaked right away. So I threw that junk out, and I switched to an OEM Harley one I found, and I think it was NOS, and uh. I just cleaned it up this morning and I painted it black to kind of blend in. Oh, I love those. But I little, like the the, the little double wingers. Yeah, like the. I think it's a you know an OEM part. I sure. Like I try to always try to use many real Harley parts, even if I'm going to chop it up. It's sure. Just, just looks cool. Yes. Gives it a good feel, you know. Oh yeah. Well, we can see. I think Mike just showed the lever where it says Purdue on it. Yeah, it's cool. And that was a uh, find. I was as a treasure of mine right there. And I, sure. when I had it chromed, I was like, "Do not polish this." Anyone could stamp these letters in here, but do not polish this off. It just had, sure. you know, it had some mojo, some vintage mojo in there. And oh yeah. He was laughing, but let's get a picture of you sitting on it. What do you think? How's oh this, me? Yeah. How's what? the stands? You're the celebrity. You're the yeah, you're right. the star. I I'm honored to sit on this bike. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you guys think? Dave Mann painting it looks just like one. Yeah, they used to accuse me of that. <laughs> David was a friend. Right on. But yep, 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 yep. No, I, I. Uh, this feels like a party looking for a place to happen. Yeah, it, <laughs> it does. It was pretty torquey going up and down the street. Oh, I'll uh, bet. And I don't think I'm going to start it between now and the show just because it's so clean. And I'm it's, just like, yeah, that, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get at it after this weekend. And that's always a problem with a show piece. I know, I know, I know. This I is mean, like the first real, real show. I used super to, I used to trailer had. my knuckle to shows. Oh, yeah. It's the only bike I've ever trailered right. to a show. I know, it kills me. I want to ride it in. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah. That would be yeah, pretty cool. But you bet. I'll probably drop it in front of everyone if I do that. Oh, so. yeah, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no, no, you're a pro. You are a pro. And I'm thoroughly impressed. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it's just it. really, really pretty. And I'll bet it runs. Nothing runs like a knuckle. Yeah, well, we, we'll be going to Kern River first beginning of September, and then uh, I have the Death Valley run coming up in October. I'll be uh, taking it on. I got so. a stick of battery in my knuckle right now, and it needs a new rear tire. And uh, we'll go for a ride. Let's do it. Let's get the knucks. Let's get yep, them out. Yep, 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 yep. We can do that. And uh, we're probably going to leave here pretty quick. We will be at the show on Saturday. Mike and I are going down, and whoever else comes along with us Great. depends on who shows up <laughs> when we get ready to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna be there Saturday. They'll have and the VIP entrance for you all set up, so you guys just roll right in, right on. What a guy! <laughs> They'll be what a guy. Mike and Grant. If you're watching this, you know, take care of this guy. He's coming in. He's coming. He's riding in. Of course. Did you, you hear know. that, Mike and yeah. Grant? <laughs> <laughs> they got you. They got you. They know all what's right. up. They know what's up. Well, we'll be there. Cool. And we hope everyone else can come. And until then, we'll see you out on the road. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you.